Joe Rogan has challenged a vaccine scientist to have a debate with U.S. presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on his Spotify podcast. The comedian and UFC presenter offered to pay $100,000 to the charity of the scientist's choice if he agreed. Rogan issued the invitation to Professor Peter Hotez MD PhD, a professor of pediatrics molecular virology, after the latter shared an article criticizing Rogan's recent three-hour conversation with Democrat RFK Jr. on the popular Joe Rogan Experience podcast. The podcast, which first aired on June 15, sees attorney and author RFK Jr. discuss his controversial opinions about vaccines, including the COVID jabs. RFK JRS best-selling book The Real Anthony Fauci, Bill Gates, Big Pharma, and the Global War on Democracy and Public Health, Children's Health Defense, makes a number of claims about the former chief medical advisor and director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Referencing the book at the start of the podcast, Rogan says, It was so disturbing, that sometimes I had to put it away and just read fiction for a few days. If it's telling the truth, just about the AIDS crisis and the use of AZT, just about all of it. If what you, RFK Jr., are saying in that book is not true, I do not understand how you are not being sued, you would be instantly and immediately sued. Don't miss! Wix faces boycott after boss blasts bigots at Trends Summit, report, hundreds of buildings uninhabitable after France hit by earthquake, latest. However, on Twitter, Professor Hortez said, Spotify has stopped even sort of trying to stem Joe Rogan's vaccine misinformation. And from all the online attacks I'm receiving after this absurd podcast, it's clear many actually believe this nonsense. The Vice article shared by Professor Hortez claims Rogan's conversation with RFK Jr. was an orgy of unchecked vaccine misinformation, some conspiracy mongering about 5G technology and Wi-Fi, and, of course, Rogan once again praising ivermectin, an ineffective for COVID treatment. Vice said it was a detailed survey of Kennedy's most dangerously incorrect views, a far too extensive list to outline in full, all of which Rogan accepted uncritically. Rogan responded on Twitter, dismissing the Vice article as dog. He said, Peter, if you claim what RFKJR is saying is misinformation I am offering you $100,000. Oh oh to the charity of your choice if you're willing to debate him on my show with no time limit. If you're really serious about what you stand for, you now have a massive opportunity for a debate that will reach the largest audience a discussion like this has ever had. If you think someone else is better qualified, suggest that person. Professor Hortez replied, Joe if you are serious about addressing vaccines plus the fact that 200,000 unvaccinated Americans needlessly perished during our awful Delta slash BA. 1 COVID waves, including 40,000 in our state of Texas, because they fell victims to vaccine disinformation. I want to have that discussion and I'm open to a number of different options, but to be pressured to give you an answer on Twitter, now, with a take it or leave it demand that's not how I work. Honestly, I don't even think that would be in your best interests. I'm happy to come on and have a meaningful discussion. I respect you and your show and I don't want an adversarial relationship. I think we can make some progress. However, Professor Hortez has, at the time of writing, not agreed to debate with RFK Jr. on the podcast. Rogan said, to those misunderstanding what he's saying, He's not agreeing to debate Robert Kennedy Jr.
he's just offering to come on my show by himself.